Well, it's a pretty big uh, production we've got. What we're doing is making the first ever 3D, high-speed 3D film. And we're using uh, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. And we've got David Coulthard, who's uh, known to most people as a Formula One driver, now currently on TV as a Formula One pundit to drive the car. Been able to close off about eight or nine miles of the famous motorcycle TT course between the bungalow and Ramsey Hairpin, so across the mountain, which if you're a big fan of bikes, you'll know intimately. It is a huge production, you know. We've got helicopters, we've got pursuit arms, which is a you know a big four-wheel drive with a massive arm that can track things as they're going up 200 miles an hour. We've got 3D cameras on the back of other SLSs, which means we can travel at the same speed, you know, real speed, 150 miles an hour. All those things, and we've got the ops that are working on big Hollywood 3D films. So it, it is going to be a, it, it's a huge production. It's like a glove. Beautiful day, beautiful road, great opportunity. So I uh, feel that little tingle that I used to get when I was a teenager back in Scotland. So couldn't afford anything as exotic as the SLS when I was a boy growing up. So get the chance to drive on a proper road in a proper car. It's going to be great. Uh, if you could just show me how you switch this thing on. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this kind of set up, can you? I mean, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Where else does this exist in the world? It doesn't. You can't have a road like this. Nowhere else does this road exist, you know. Obviously, it's the Isle of Man TT, you know. It's, it's legendary. tracking off the back of the vehicle yeah. and all the scenery is doing this yeah. and you're not watching where you're going, you're just watching the car in front. Yeah. Well, we really want to make a big impact with this car um, and also with this film. You know, we have to push quite hard for, to get 3D and to, you know, to, to see whether it's technically possible. Um, and well, we'll see, <laughs> but so far it's looking really good. That's yeah. seriously quite better. That is. No. <laughs> I should have a little tea if I can have. Yeah. Maybe I'll just have a quick see if I can spin it. DC, <laughs> you don't know how close you were there. Look, the skid marks about four centimeters from the wall. We've got a spare, haven't we? There's always two cameras, so immediately you're thinking, all right, it's double the trouble, you know, and it is, and a lot of this stuff is really quite cutting edge. Whoever you talk to, you say, you know, how does 3D work, how do you do this? They're like, oh, don't really know, you'll have to go and try it, you know, and that's what we're doing now, you know, we're actually doing stuff that hasn't been done before. This whole rig is going on the helicopter with two um, larger cameras, essentially. Um, do the helicopter shots. Time is always tight on these things. We've had to lose a couple of shots that we would like to have done.
we've got about uh, another hour or two to go and uh, we've currently got the helicopter up and flying and that's uh, doing some very exciting shots. Finally, what we're going to do is a chase sequence where uh, we've got another pro driver here, Robbie Head, who uh, was a rally champion and good friend yeah. of the late Colin McRae. Uh, another Scott. Four to ten feet, the guys are saying. Okay. So I'm thinking if I do a constant speed. Uh -huh. That's going to be better, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Then you yeah. can adjust your speed. Yeah, to, sure. You know, it's so I'm not braking or something and you're yeah. trying to brake at the same time. Yeah. If you are about to, if you think you're about to brake, then just give one little tap or something yeah. or the brakes or something. Yeah. Or maybe a couple, because yeah. one might be an actual yeah. genuine brake. <laughs> I'm going to drive a, a chase car in front of David Coulthard and he's going to chase me from behind. So that's going to be brilliant. You know, and the cameras are out the back and you get a real sensation of speed. That car will do 197 miles an hour, but I don't think I'm brave enough to do it. At one point, we're doing 140 miles an hour, and I'm literally six feet off his bumper, and I can't see the apexes because, you know, his, his car's right in front of me. So that certainly got my uh, adrenaline going. Yeah, no, it's all good. You know, it's great. We've got some amazing shots of the 3D stuff on the on the arm. I've got to go. Come, we've got to go. You, you sit in the car. So as soon as the car starts, we go. I love this island. We've just got an extension uh, by an hour, so we can film for an hour longer because TV takes a long time to film. It's been a long day. It's been tough in parts, but it's been absolutely fabulous. I'm really excited about the film that I'm going to be able to cut from everything we've got. To have the chance to have a proper sectioned off piece of roads, you know, all the security and safety that's needed and just to go for it. You know, that's certainly the fastest I've ever gone on a, a mountain road, you know, 160 miles an hour, I think we we're doing at one point, uh, which don't try that at home, kids, but uh, in these sort of environment, just fantastic.